Um, okay, Google, turn on bedroom lights. Okay, performing action. Alexa, trigger off bedroom lights. Sending that to it. Hey, what's up? Nasir Malik here. Welcome to another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be controlling a Sonoff switch with Alexa and Google Home. This tutorial is similar to my previous tutorial where I controlled a single device with Google Home and Alexa. And this was done using an ESP8266 chip. In this tutorial, you don't have to uh, solder anything or solder, you know, multiple um, boards and stuff, or you don't have to do anything other than just flashing a sketch on a Sonoff switch and uh, create IFT templates and um, it's ready to go. So no soldering required, no wiring required, no nothing. It's very, very easy. Um, you just need to hook this Sonoff switch to any of your home appliances and it's very easy to use. So let's get started. So for this project, you're going to need three things. Um, just to demo this, uh, you need a Amazon Dot and Google Home if you want to play around with both. Table lamp or any uh, 110 volt appliance that you want to control. Um, the Sonoff switch is rated up to 110 amps, so you can control anything under uh, 10 amp. Um, also, you would need the USB to TTL program to flash it and uh, mini USB cables. So this is a, a diagram how to connect your um, USB to TTL converter uh, hook up to your um, uh, Sonoff switch. So once you open up the switch, uh, you're going to see uh, these um, pinholes. You have to use 2.5 millimeter pin headers in there and solder them from the back side. And the first one is 3.3 volts. It goes into the uh, USB converter 3.3 volts. Uh, RX goes to TX and TX goes to RX and uh, this is ground goes to ground and that's all and to put this switch in a flash mode uh, make sure you uh, press this button right here and keep it pressed and connect this to the USB on this end and once you connect it the lights comes on you let this switch go and uh, this uh, board is on a uh, flash mode and you can go ahead and use the Arduino IDE to flash it once you finish uh, flashing it you put back into its case it's safer because you're working with the mains uh, voltage here um, current here and it's pretty dangerous so what you need to do is uh, from your plug that comes out uh, as you will see it in a little bit uh, two wires uh, I'm not grounding this the gr if there's a ground it'll go directly to the ground you don't need to do anything else with that just cut the, um, the your hot wire and the your neutral and then one goes into it doesn't matter either or but preferably you want to put a hot one with ones that uh, is controlled by relay uh, but in this case I'm just for this uh, demonstration I'm putting the uh, red demonstrating hot wire goes into this one and the black the neutral goes in here and the underside whatever device you have uh, you know you connect it either way it doesn't matter it's AC volt and uh, that's it this is very very simple and this is for the folks who don't like to, to messing around with wires and all that stuff uh, it's a little bit more expensive than ESP8266 uh, it has a single relay. It's a single channel. Basically, you can control a single device. It's very convenient to, you know, uh, for people who like to control, automate their things at home, and they don't want to do too much work. It's very, very simple and easy. Most of my tutorials that I have done, you can use those, and you can flash it to the Sonoff switch, and they should work. Uh, for the three-way, four-way switch, uh, you would need a Sonoff switch with the dual channel which I will be doing the tutorial later on but for this tutorial let's get started let's look at the rating of the switch um, it actually is Wi-Fi ready similar uh, it has a similar chip um, as the ESP8266 and input is 90 volts to 250 volts 50 and 60 hertz um, and up to 10 amps load so this is pretty neat so let's open it up and see what's inside. Uh, so let's see, we're gonna flash it with uh, uh, my tutorial. If you guys have uh, looked at uh, tutorial 10, uh, where I control ESP8266 with the um, Alexa and Google Home. So I'm gonna flash that sketch in here and uh, control this. 
uh, uh, device with the Google Home and Alexa. To open this up, there are no screws or anything. Um, you can just uh, run your fingernail or a screwdriver and it just comes off. And it has a little uh, small circuit in it if you look at it. Um, basically, um, from the bottom you can tell uh, these two connectors actually on the circuit board. You can see these are the ones that carry the main. Uh, this one is connected to relay, so and this one is going direct to the on the other side. So you know, basically, you want to hook the, your hot wire to this uh, connector and the uh, neutral one to this one. Um, so if you look at the board itself, um, it has these. Uh, I'm sorry, let me see, getting out of focus. So if you look at it here. Uh, so uh, these one, two, three, first four holes, they're the one that you hook up to flash this. Uh, so while, um, and then this is GPIO 14, I believe, and the relay is GPIO 12, I believe. Um, so we'll, we're going to change our sketch to GPIO 12, and we're going to flash this. To be able to flash this with the, our USB to TTL converter, um, we're gonna need to <clears throat> somehow hook the TTL converter to um, these pins right here. So we're gonna install these pins. Uh, these are 2.5 um, millimeter pins. And uh, let me see if you guys can see it or not. Okay, so we're gonna install them. It's difficult to see through the camera and try to <laughs> figure out so let me see if I can do it for you there you go so you will install these um, you can uh, you have to solder these from the bottom and it's easy to do put it on the side and do it um, I'll do this in a minute my iron is heating up so um, so once this is uh, ready to go what are we gonna do is we're gonna take our ESP to TTL programmer and we're gonna hook up uh, female to female uh, breadboard wires so I have I have a bunch of uh, female to female breadboard wires so I need four of them so I'm going to take a look at this and uh, so I got four here so I'm gonna grab four so okay I hooked up the, my uh, the programmer slash converter so I'm gonna go ahead and then solder my Sonoff switch uh, pin headers so I'm going to go ahead and solder these pins I'm going to start with the first one right there so the pin out on this is pretty simple starting from here from the where the switch is um, uh, this is 3.3 uh, volts this is RX I'm sorry this is RX this is TX and this is this is ground so we're gonna hook up the uh, programmer with it and before we boot or plug it into the computer we're gonna press this button uh, this is connected to GPI 0 we're gonna keep it down once we connect it we're gonna let it go and uh, this board will be in a flash mode and we're gonna go ahead and uh, flash our um, sketch on it so I'm gonna go ahead and connect my programmer so okay um, I connected my um, the USB programmer to the zone off switch and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up and before I hook it up to my computer I'm gonna press uh, this button and keep it down um, and once I connect it to USB I'm gonna let it go so this will be in a flash mode So I'm going to press this down and connect to the USB and it's done. I'm going to let it go. Now this is in the flash mode. We're going to go ahead and flash our sketch onto it. So um, to flash our sketch, everything else uh, stay the same. You put in your um, SSID, your password and uh, the same Haruko app that you used and our um excuse me 
the tutorial 10 follow the tutorial 10 to see how you can set it up it's very easy to set it up and once you have that set up you can uh, put your um, Heroku app name here and also you would need to create these four applets two for um, Google and two for Alexa and very simple to do follow the tutorial tutorial 10 and once you have that done uh, you can come in here only thing you have to do different from the tutorial 10 is to change this uh, the relay pin and so on the Sonoff the this relay so this relay pin uh, uh, this relay is connected to GPIO 12 so you need to change that into your sketch so we're gonna change this to 12 that's all we have to do and um, and our um, the Sonoff switch is already in uh, flash mode and we're gonna go ahead and click compile and flash and we're gonna wait for it and you should see the light blinking on here and also on the screen it's gonna show you that it's flashing the Sonoff once it's finished compiling So as you can see, it's compiling right now. I mean, it's a uh, you can see it's uh, uploading the sketch to Sonoff. You can see on the converter itself, uh, it is showing the lights are blinking, so it's uploading the sketch. Um, there are no lights on this thing that tells you it is being uploaded, but uh, we can see on the, our Arduino ID. Uh, and when it's 100 percent we'll take a look at here and make sure that it is connected to our app and uh, it's doing whatever it's supposed to do so as you can see on the console um, on the serial uh, output um, it is connected i believe um, I'm going to test it out, see if I see anything in output. Okay, there we go. So now we can see it. Um, it's connected. Um, this is basically um, some of this stuff you see. I put it in for debug. So when people are trying to play around with it and having issue at least, uh, they can communicate that to me. So once you say got data, okay, uh, commander and recognize, that's fine. That's normal. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, I have just hooked up Alexa as soon as it comes back. Online, I'm gonna give it a command and I'm gonna see if uh, my commands got through to and I can see Hello. it on the console. Alexa, trigger on bedroom lights. Sending that to it. Okay, as you can see, it did uh, went through and it showed up on the Sonoff. So, okay, so now what are we gonna do is we're gonna take this Sonoff. I'm going to put it back into its case and I'm going to hook up a light with it and then I'll show you uh, you know it's very simple and easy you can connect anything with it and control it that way so let's do that so what I'm going to do is since this is flashed now and I verify it by giving a command to Alexa and it's able to send the command to Sonoff switch uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook up a light so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug these I don't need these anymore so uh, basically the way it works is when you hook up the mains to it mm, from the input it draws the current from the mains to drive this circuit and also turn on the device whatever device uh, whatever device you have hooked up on the other side in my case I'm gonna use this um, uh, I bought this 
so I can show you guys how to do because a lot of people asking how to connect um, the you know different um, you can think of it this is as a um, lights in the house or a fan or whatever you have hooked up this is a 110 volt bulb that hooked up uh, I cut up a little wire and hooked up the plug with it so I can show you I'm gonna put it in a cord and it's gonna turn it on and as you can see the bulb is coming on uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this Sonoff switch that we just flashed and uh, control this bulb from Google Home so we're gonna control this bulb from Google Home and uh, Alexa dot okay so I'm gonna go ahead and so you saw that this bulb, there's nothing to it. It's very simple. Two wires are connecting underneath it. Uh, same way here. Uh, I haven't grounded it yet because I don't need it here. Um, uh, just uh, it keeps it simple, just two wires. So the way you hook up your um, Sonoff switch, let me put that back in the case itself. And uh, we're gonna put our mains here. These two wires, I'm gonna cut them in the middle. So I showed you the this light bulb is connected and it's a 110 volt light bulb. So we're gonna cut it and we're gonna put both wires on each one of these sockets. And on the other side, we're gonna take the other side and plug these in and we're gonna control our light bulb. You cut the wire like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, do this. I use two wires and you peel them out and uh, do the other side okay we got it so I'm going to do is twist them a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and oops. these screws are very small so you need a small set of screwdriver to be able to do um, so basically they're a hole on top I don't know if you can see it so you could put you need a flathead screwdriver pretty small to go in and uh, you need to turn it so the screw comes up and then you can insert a wire so I'm going to insert one wire and I'm going to screw in and make sure it's tight and just yank lightly on it to make sure it doesn't come out do the other side make sure you open up first and it's tight in there it's good we'll do the same thing on the other side so this was if you look at it the one I cut the wire and the plug is hooked up to it says input so um, you will know you when you take the case out and you put it back in you can't put the wrong way because this uh, press button is uh, um, it needs to be on this hole so if you put it wrongly you know you're not gonna be able to probably fit it uh, you can force it to fit it but it won't fit so if the button is not on its right place you know you have not put the cover back uh, correct way so make sure the button is on here press button so this is hooked up it's input input hooked up to this plug there are two wires uh, I, I didn't hook up the ground so there's no ground even if you have the ground you don't hook up the ground here you just uh, go um, let it go directly to the um, electronics device that you're trying to control okay so on the other side what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel these off and I'm gonna connect these in here and going to do this connect it here so I finished hooking up this um, bulb on the other end so only thing I did is cut the wire in the middle and hook up the plug on the input side and uh, on the bulb on the output side so you can hook anything uh, 110 volts uh, devices in here as long as they're under 10 amps so it works the same way so this is ready. So I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to bring in Alexa and Google Home and try to control this. 
So this is going right here. And just to be careful, um, because it's, uh, I have not put in, uh, I have not put in the, uh, the small cover that comes with it. So you don't want to touch on either side because 110 volts going through right now. So I'm going to bring in Alexa in the mix. And uh, well, I call it Alexa, but it's uh, Amazon Dot. And I'm going to bring in on the other side Google Home. So basically, so let me see if it works. Alexa, trigger on bedroom lights. Sending that to it. And as you can see, there's a little bit delay because I just hooked it up. I haven't used it for a while. Um, so, um, so there's a little bit delay, but once you start using it, it's good. So I, I turned it on from the, the uh, this device. I don't want to name it because it turns on. Now I'm going to turn it off from Google Home. So, okay, Google, turn off bedroom lights. Okay, performing action. So as you can see, this is gone. I don't know if you can see the lights coming on in here or not, but it's working. So now I can turn it on from here and I can turn it off here. It's almost like a, a three-way switch um, that I built in one of the tutorials. Um, okay, Google, turn on bedroom lights. Okay, performing action. Alexa, trigger off bedroom lights. Sending that to it. So as you can see, I mean, it's pretty simple and easy, and you can put in a uh, sketch in here as long as it's just, uh, you know, to control a single uh, relay, and it works nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, another uh, trick. Uh, you guys probably know uh, how to do this, but for people who are new to uh, this thing, uh, instead of having a bulb on the other end, you guys can hook it up a plug and it'll be your portable uh, controlling device that you can you know hook up anything in your house as long as it's uh, 110 volts and under 10 amps and control it that way so let me show you that quickly so okay i'm going to remove this from here this is going to be removed and i'm going to make it portable make sure it is unplugged while you're doing this and to make it portable I basically have this uh, plug socket and I have a small wire in it and I'm going to connect this here quickly to turn this uh, into a portable switch that you can plug into anything and control it just to keep one thing in mind uh, this is uh, uh, cheaply made it's not very um, sturdy the cover is very um cheap and also these connectors are very flimsy so uh, you want to make sure you keep it away um, uh, from the high traffic area so you won't be while walking uh, trip over it and yank this out since it's a, a high voltage and also uh, make sure um, that you um, if you uh, you keep Keep it away from the kids, you know, if they come in and try to yank on the wire and it comes out, and it's pretty dangerous. Um, I would suggest if you're using it, use one of those, uh, the project boxes, the waterproof and stuff, especially if you're going to use it outside for something. Um, um, and uh, also, um, you know, uh, just take precautions. I can plug this in in any socket um, you know if I have a uh, table lamps and stuff in the house or stuff like that I can collect connect those in here I can control it and uh, small appliances that I need to control and the thing is you don't have to have them hooked up if you want to move it you can unplug it and plug it in somewhere else and you can control it um, so it's, it's pretty neat um, so it's just a, a idea to uh, make it a little bit like a portable mm, so yep so 
So now I'm trying to figure out what I want to hook with it. <laughs> I can't can't think of anything that I have. All right, I'm I'm gonna do this. Um, so for a second, I'm gonna borrow this light, this LED light to show you. I'm gonna unplug it. So this is the light I use for the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the light in here. I'm going to plug in the light in here and uh, just plug this back in there. I'm going to bring in my trusty Alexa in here or Amazon Echo. Alexa, trigger on bedroom lights. Sending that to it. Alexa, trigger off bedroom lights. Sending that to it. As you can see, you know, you can turn any uh, household uh, electronics um, on and off using Alexa, creating this little portable device. Hey, um, I also like to mention that uh, I'm working on um, the, some of the tutorials to using these uh, um, Node MCUs they're pretty good you probably um, most of you guys are using these they have the ESP8266 chip built in with the converter and the programmer so I have a bunch of them um, bunch of these to give away so in the future tutorials I'll be doing I'll be giving these away um, also I started working on some of the uh, um, ESP32 chip is pretty good um, instead of building the rig jig for it the way I did for the um, um, the ESP8266 I bought this uh, it's uh, it's pretty neat uh, it's uh, so I have quite a few of these I want to program especially uh, the 32 ESP32 uh, it has a Bluetooth that is uh, I'm gonna use to control my PlayStation and uh, Xbox uh, so and then um, also you know hook up the, in a similar fashion so stay tuned to see these tutorials and I'm gonna giving some of these away too um, so um, this is it for this tutorial until next time bye